Hey guys, today I have an Atkins lasagna. I've never tried it. I'm not sure it's how it's gonna taste. Um, the water. And they are still renovating the apartment next door. So I have no idea what sounds are gonna happen. But I really wanted to try and make this video. It isn't bad. Actually, to be honest, it tastes better than the Lean Cuisine lasagnas. I have no idea really what the noodles are made of to make it lower carb. Now again, if you're new to my channel, you, you see that my name is Ketone. And if you're familiar with the keto diet, you know that that's like really low carb. Um, here's the thing, I really liked the name ketone, so I kept it, but technically I'm more low carb than keto. I eat a lot of keto meals, but I'm not super strict keto. You know, some people will still call themselves keto and consider themselves keto as long as they eat under like 50 carbs or under 20, 25 and under carbs. But the keto community <laughs> can be a little rabid. So I wanted to point out that even though ketone is in my name, a lot of the things that I eat might, you might, if you're keto, you might consider not keto. You might consider them just low carb. So I just wanted to point that out. I don't want to be false advertising or whatever. But anyway, and those of you who aren't familiar with low carb or keto have no idea what I'm talking about and don't care. So, anyway, this is 11 net carbs, which means that it's the amount of carbs after you subtract any fiber or sugar alcohols that might be in a food. And... This might be way too high in net carbs for somebody that's doing keto if they're really strict. Or if they do keto in the way that they don't eat they don't eat frozen meals or anything processed. Like I like my low carb tortillas. I like the occasional sweet potato fry. I like to try an Atkins treat or two. Other than that, I'm trying to do meats and vegetables and cheese and berries. peanut butter, but 
however you want to eat. I'm okay with that. I don't know if these are really even considered mukbangs or mukbangs or whatever, but I label them that way because that's what everybody labels them. It seems like a lot of people, and they're skinny people too, are putting away like long tables worth of McDonald's food and stuff. I don't know if they're intermittent fasting where they only eat that in a day and then they work out insanely and they maintain their weight or what? Or they're just lucky? But obviously I can't eat like that. Well, I could try to eat like that, but I'd stay the same size or get bigger. And I'm trying to get smaller, because I'm already bigger. Now, I have lost 10 pounds in the last two weeks just from trying to stay around anywhere from like 35 to 40 carbs but I'm gonna have to start tracking calories too because it really is calories in calories out in the sense that you need a deficit to lose weight this is just easier for me to get into the deficit because I'm not as hungry eating this way. And I've found that even though there are times that I feel like I'm ravenously hungry, it's actually a craving. Like I'm not really hungry because I just had but not right now, but at the times when I'm ravenously hungry. I might have had a pickle and three, three or four cubes of cheese like half an hour before and all of a sudden I'm hit with a ravenous hunger. And I realize it's because I've watched a mukbang of somebody eating three different types of pizza or McDonald's or something and I'm craving it. I want it, but I don't need it. And that's how strong the cravings are. You literally feel like you're starving, but you know you can't be because you've been, you've been eating during the day and you just ate not a lot, bro. So, yeah. And I don't want to stop watching the mukbangs because I don't know um, I think it was Dolce Foodie who asked this question about, um, what gives, like, what does ASMR feel like? And I mentioned that when I watch a mukbang, I don't actually get ASMR, I don't think. It's just this, I don't know, it's just a pleasurable feeling like entertainment that makes you happy to watch someone else eat especially if it's something that you want to eat yourself <laughs> I can't really explain it but yeah mukbangs I definitely watch for a different feeling than I might watch a gum chewing video so yeah 
that's really my ASMR trigger right there is gum chewing videos. However, um, let's see, Southern ASMR sounds. I think I got that in the right order. Um, she is a really talented. Uh, how do you say ASMR artist? <laughs> She is really talented because she has the, you know, the typical ASMR things like, you know, she'll do hauls or she'll do a walkthrough in a store and show things off or, you know, she'll put her fingers through some jewelry and things like that, but she does the most amazing role plays and normally I don't like role plays because they they're kind of cringy and they feel forced but it's like she's an actress or something um, and she has all these different characters and and I don't know how she keeps the storylines straight she has one that's my favorite where she's an old woman in like the 40s or something like that and she sells Avon and she's talking on the phone and gossiping and you just forget that she's talking to herself and it always puts me out like a light. Another one that's really really interesting is she will do these lunchroom gossip videos where she will have lunch pox and she'll sit down facing the camera and she'll start talking to you as if you're really there and she'll start gossiping with you bitchily about all the people in the office and it's just the fact that she does it without messing up at all is really interesting okay but anyway I stopped eating obviously it's gone um, I'm not going to lick it, <laughs> so I'm going to end this now.